guys welcome back to a new vlog it is a gorgeous sunny day today so the plan for today is just to chill um outside on a little bit of grass and just have soak up the sun for the last day because i think it's supposed to be going a bit colder tomorrow and um, we're going to make a little platter of like prawns cold meats and stuff i've got some frozen cocktails which i will show you actually they are from Lidl and um oh as well if you're new here thank you for watching i'm currently isolated in nottingham at my boyfriend's house usually i live in london this is the cocktail so it's a bit squished but it's a sunrise frozen mojito alcoholic sorbet cocktail this is from lidl and um, jordan bought me two of them which was nice of him bless him um, so i'm gonna have one of these in a little bit when it's defrosted jordan's got a wine and i've got a lemon water so um, yeah we're gonna chill outside have a lovely day and i'm gonna vlog so i've got my cocktail left it out for a little while i'm just gonna tear it okay that does not want to tear what the hell I'm gonna pour it in. It's pretty. How pretty is this glass? I actually love it. Ugh, yum. Ideally, I would have a straw, but my boyfriend doesn't have any straws, so. So yeah, cheers guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna eat this. I might have to take a spoon out with me. Um, I might take a spoon out. But let's try the slushy. Mm. Oh my God, that's quite strong. That is amazing. Mm. Little guys, they are banging. So I'm gonna make like a little board of olives and cold meats. We've got some prawns in the fridge, so Jordan's gonna whip up some garlic prawns. Um, I'm gonna have my next cocktail, which I put out, and this is the um, berry decor. I never know how to say that, Dic whatever. I might put that back in the freezer actually for a bit. So I'm gonna have it with my prawns. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for this. I've also got some halloumi, um, but I don't know if I could be asked to fry that up to be fair. Also, look how cute my little um, jar of M&M's is. Like, stuff like that makes me so happy in life. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited for this. Going to make up a little board now. I'm going to have a little picnic outside. It looks so good. Jordan's got prawns as well. So we're gonna take this outside and I've got my daiquiri. Daiquiri, I think that's how you say it. We're gonna enjoy the sun. I'm so excited for this, oh my God. guys so i thought i'd just do a quick run through of my makeup with you on um on camera um because a few of you have requested my everyday makeup routine and i thought i'd just pop it in a vlog um and put it out there for you guys um so i always use the ysl foundation in the shade d b a d 40 this is the all hours foundation it's literally my favorite thing ever like i have been using this for so many years now um I've just moisturised my skin as well and I just pop, I pop on a pump or so of that onto my skin. I don't know if this is the best lighting for a get ready with me so I might move actually. Um, maybe, a, maybe I'll try a different lighting. One second guys. I don't know if that is much better but um, yeah I'm just rolling with it. Um, and then I just use, I use my beauty blender obviously to tap it into my face you know 
beat the face in that. I just love this foundation. It literally makes my skin look like new skin. It's so good. And I had a few gins yesterday, um, which is why I didn't vlog anymore. Um, and I always find that like the day after I've been drinking a bit, my skin is just disgusting. Like it just doesn't go nice at all, um, which is so frustrating. But I feel like this foundation does the best job at making my skin look a bit fresher and all of that. So I have just applied the Rimmel contour stick for my bronzer and that I always use this in the shade dark it's literally like run out completely which is depressing um, so I might need to order one online if it's in stock and then I always use the Revlon Candid um, concealer under my eyes this is literally the best concealer but a little tip I always leave it for like 10 seconds 15 seconds before I blend it in because I find the coverage is way better when I leave it for a second um, and yeah but anyway, like I keep saying, I hope all you guys are really good. I am actually kind of getting used to this furlough life, which is not ideal. Like, I shouldn't be getting used to this. I'm really missing work, but I just, I'm just, like, making the most of having a bit of time off. And the highlight, this is literally my favourite highlight ever. I got this gifted in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar, um, but it's a Nude by Nature little mini highlight it's gold and honestly like the glow this gives my skin is just next level I don't know if you'll pick up on camera because it's quite like subtle but it just gives my face like a really natural sheen which I am just here for like I love a natural um highlight so just pop this on this lying way will, will not pick it up so sorry about that guys but um if you've ever seen me wearing highlight in any of my videos it's always this one because I just love it so much it's so nice um, so yeah, I'm enjoying life at the moment to be honest, found the first few weeks quite hard and now I'm kind of getting used to it. It's just been such like a change in like routine and lifestyle and everything and it's just, it's actually kind of scaring me a bit going back to normality um, and moving back to London because like this is, before me and my boyfriend have always like lived at least an hour away from each other um, and obviously now I've moved to London it's even further but um so we were really used to not seeing each other that much and um I mean to be fair when I was at uni I did used to see him like once or twice a week which is obviously really good but we were still like a, a about an hour apart um, so I'm actually kind of like I don't know I'm kind of a bit dreading me going back to London just because I know I'm gonna find it really hard all over again when I first moved to London for the first few months I really did find it so hard I didn't really say too much on the vlog just because I knew it would pass but I really really found it really hard to settle into living in London and being away from up north and being away from my family and friends and boyfriend um, so I'm kind of like really scared that that's going to happen again because I honestly had some nights where I literally felt so, so sad and like I was just crying and I just didn't feel myself and stuff. But then like it was so annoying because the last two months before this happened, last like three, two months before this happened, I felt so like at home in London, like I felt like I was, that is my home now. And obviously then I've had to move back up north, but it's just one of them things and it's happened to so many young people, but it's just a bit disconcerting. So... I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to be going back, I think it might be about June time, um, but it's literally just uh, see how it goes because um, because I work in marketing for a hospitality company, obviously restaurants have been hit so hard by this whole thing, so yeah, it's really, we don't know what's going to happen I guess, but for my eyebrows as you just saw, I just brush them up using the Model Co Clear Brow Gel, I've completely stopped doing my brows apart from using brow gel and I literally love this so much, it just keeps them in place all day, so yeah, here for that, love this. <laughs> so moving on to eyes, I usually just use bronzer on my eyes at the moment, so I'm using this um, Tarte palette and it's just got loads of different bronzers and concealers in it and um, so I literally just take like any of the colours and put it across my eyes and that is like as snazzy as it gets right now snazzy oh my god who remembers that word um but I also do use a bit of like sparkle which I'll show you in a minute and um, so I just put this across my eyes like this nothing exciting I'm really not a makeup artist I just enjoy doing makeup like be quite basic makeup so I'm just gonna fly through this and I'll be back with you Uh, 
Um, and then I use the, I don't know how to say this, but it's um, pronounced 3INA and it's a literally an unreal cream eyeshadow. It's so gorgeous. And I've used loads of this. I've actually got a backup of this in London, which I'm buzzing about, because um, it's literally gorgeous. And I just put pop this in like the inner in a section of my eyelid and I'll show you in a different light afterwards but it makes my eyes look like foiled it's literally beautiful so there I think you can see it more in that light um I wish I had a tripod so I could put you there that I go in with um the I don't know what brand this is it's a random liquid eyeliner and then I'm using the Kiko mascara at the moment this is amazing and this is the standout volume one so I'm gonna whiz through this and then I'll be back with you for lips Think and then I'm done. So when I've done eyes, um, I left my two favourite um, lip things in London which I'm literally gutted about because I really find it hard to live without them. So I usually use the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Girlfriend and the Fenty Lip Gloss. Obviously like I wear a nude lip every day and I don't have any with me now which is so annoying. So instead of that I've just been taking, if I don't, I've been wearing a bit of a red lip but I'm not going to today. Instead I just put like a dab on my lips basically just so i have a little bit of color on my lips um this is a bit too pink for me i really don't like pink lipstick and i put on the top i've just got a little pot of the elizabeth arden eight hour cream and i use this as lip gloss and i just pop this over the top and we are done so that is my everyday makeup look nothing exciting um but i just thought i would show you guys today while i have nothing else to do so i've just done my hair it's like that bella hadid pony ideally i would have hair gel um and all of that jam but i like how it looks so i am gonna make some lunch now and then i may take some instagram pics i've also got a brand deal that i need to do by monday and um, with a company so i need to get pictures of that but i might get john to help me with that because it may be a bit more complex oh my god i hate my little baby hairs it's so annoying so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and make some lunch for my lunch i'm gonna have i want to make like a kind of um ramen but without any meat so I, i'm gonna put a uh, vegetable stock cube red onion noodles mushrooms and i may add tofu as well um i've really wanted to be wanting to try this for ages so let's see what it goes like um i'm in the mood for noodles so this is gonna be the dish <laughs> mushroom and onion mix. I'm just frying these off and then basically what I'm going to do is cook the noodles in here, um, add the stock cube into the water, then add all of this into the water when that's cooked and then it should have like a nice noodley soup thing. So yeah, I'm quite excited. Obviously all you guys know that I'm a shit cook but I'm just trying to do what I can do out here, you know. <laughs> This is the ramen. It actually looks so good. I'm actually excited. Okay, I don't think it looks good. I think it smells amazing. Um, let me know if any of you guys know how to make a good ramen or tag me in pictures that you make um, if you decided to make one because I'm excited. This is a massive bowl as well, like so big. I think I might film a video like a mukbang now. So I will speak to you in a bit when I've eaten this. Okay, so um, how I take pictures at the moment, I am putting my camera on timer um here as you can see and i'm just trying to get them myself mostly sometimes jordan gets them for me which is amazing but yeah sometimes i just want to take them myself and get the right angles so i'm gonna take some now um i've got on this cute little loungewear bra this was gifted a while ago and um, misguided cardigan i'll link all this down below and then some cute joggers which are from um urban outfitters i've taken all the photos i quite like these ones because they're kind of like they're like the sunlight you know aren't seeing that <laughs> all that shit um I go through them and like favourite um, my the ones that I really like then I'll go back over them and edit them on Lightroom I've already put in a vlog how I edit my pics um, 
but so yeah if you want to know how i edit them go on that vlog um but yeah so i'm gonna go through these now see if there's any i like there's probably gonna be like two out of so many um but yeah wish me luck <laughs> so i just got a misguided order which is very exciting hopefully i'm gonna be able to fill my haul at some point um I've just been munching on this little box of goodies. I made some M&M cookies that kind of burn. I've made some Rocky Road as well. And I've just uploaded a TikTok. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uploaded a TikTok. So go follow me in there because it's a lot of fun. And I used to hate TikTok and now I love it. It's a great pastime. So I'm going to carry on making these today. I'm very much enjoying having a free flat so I can do all my content bits. Loving life. I'm going to eat another one. Fair.